today I wanted to share with you a few tips and secrets on how to paint beautiful eyes. It's usually the part of the face of my characters which gets a lot of compliments and I think there is a secret, a secret which is half magical and half technical and I'm going uh, to give it to you today. Um, it's usually the part my students struggle the most with. Uh, they usually get very tense and very nervous when we reach this part of the class because it is the most important part of the face and if you spend a lot of time on the costume, um, a lot of details, a lot of care uh, to all of that but you totally spoil the eyes, the result won't be good at the end. And so that's why we really have to focus on the eyes to make them as real as possible. And, um, and there is few rules. If you follow these rules, everything will be fine. Even beginners can paint nice and beautiful eyes if they follow few rules. The reason why the eyes are the most important thing is they reflect the mood and the soul of your character. The character is made of paper and glue and painting and you have to give him life, just like Pinocchio. He has to become real and the eyes will make him real. So you have to follow few rules and you have to give him life really. The eyes will give life to your character. The magical tip is really simple and really easy. It can sound strange or a little silly, but it really works. Is you have to imagine you are the character you are painting or you are doing. It's really, really easy uh, and it makes the difference. If, as you are painting the eyes of this little cat, for example, you are um, thinking about your gross release, about any problem you may have, you're not just really uh, in, in the mood, in the, in the skin of your little cat. It won't work. The result at the end won't be nice, won't be good, uh, and you won't know why. And that's very, very important. You have to imagine his story just before doing it. Um, just like an actor playing a role, it's very important and it's the most important thing. If you are, are very good with the technique, if you can paint really very precise eyes with any, no mistakes at all, no stain, just really good eyes but with no, li no life, uh, which, which won't express anything, uh, you will be disappointed. You really have to tell yourself a story and that's the funny part of creating things is you have to tell stories all the time. I tell myself stories all the time. Uh, every character I'm doing, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm his, this character. I'm thinking about his life, what he's want to tell, what's everything, really everything. And it makes the difference between a piece of painting, of paper and of uh, iron wire and with the real Puss in Boots, for example, coming out of a fairy tale, suddenly staring at you as you are painting his eyes. It's really different, you see. So you really have to think about it just before and, um, and you'll see the difference. So before going to the practical part, um, I will show you exactly how to, to do these eyes. These eyes belong to my uh, cat children. Uh, you're going to see them all finish in their family uh, next week on the blog. But before that, uh, they are the perfect guinea pig for this video. So, um, in my eyes, I don't use any specific colors. You can see, I always use a sort of brown. I don't want them to attract too much attention with the color of the eyes. I'm going to show you exactly how to, to do these eyes. Uh, if you are a beginner, you will start first uh, with a pencil to paint the outlines of the eyes, just here, not the irises but really the eye, um, the outline of the eye here and here. You will paint everything, you will draw everything together, the right and the left all together at the same time for every step. So we are first going from the inside of the eye to the outside of the eye. So first the pupils, then the irises, then the outlines of the irises, then some nuances a little inside, just to make them a little more real and uh, thick. Then the outline of the eye with a bigger brush. And at the very end we will paint the two light dots at the inside the eye, uh, which will make them suddenly come alive. And these dots are very specific, you really have to paint them exactly the same in the left and in the right eye. Uh, 
because they come from the same source of light, which come from the same uh, side. So if you paint this eye, crossing the eye this way, as I did here, on the exact um, symmetrical way on the other side, which would come here, which just like if the light came from the left, it would make the uh, the the cat have a sort of vision uh, disability <laughs> or this uh, vision problem, and it won't be really pretty. And now I'm going to paint the eye on the mother cat's face. So before starting, you have to be sure you have the right tools. In my case, with the mulberry paper, which has a lot of fibers, I prefer using very uh, short. A thin brush for the irises and the pupils, little bigger ones for the nuances and the outlines of the eye. share with you two secrets, the practical secret, which is you have to, to paint the two eyes at the same time, and not to go too fast, follow the steps very carefully, and picture yourself in the skin of your cat. That's very, very important. Uh, tell yourself a story, and um, and be patient and relaxed. And, and just remember, any, any stain you can do, any problem you may have, you can always fix it especially with paper. It's really the best technique to fix everything all the time. So uh, I will be back soon with uh, new videos. I'm working super hard at the moment on my online classes website. It's going to be really pretty. Uh, um, I can't wait to share that with you. Uh, you can follow my blog every week and subscribe to my newsletter. I'm going to share on my newsletter new things uh, very soon on the online classes and things you'll be able to see uh, before everyone. And you'll meet the cat family very soon on the blog uh, with the father and the mother, which is going to be way more finished than here. And, and for the moment, I wish you a very pleasant day. I go back to my cat family now. I want to finish them. Thank you.